what's up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is toby and i film videos about my life in canada i have vlogs here um i share tools and resources for people moving to canada for people already living in canada and much more don't forget to check my other videos out after watching this video please don't forget to smash the like button for me hit the subscribe button don't forget to leave comments share this video just share it around it actually really helps my channel and i really appreciate that so in today's video i'm going to be sharing how much i spend in a month and everything i'm going to say is in canadian dollars not us dollars so i'm just throwing it out there since this is about how much i spend let's just give a backstory about myself so i live in the gt which is a greater toronto area i live in the province of ontario in canada yeah factors are coming to play when it comes to your monthly expenses like your location that's where you live the province the city your taste also matters and your habits so for my rent i pay $1,300 every month so that's 1,300 Canadian dollars every month that also includes tenant insurance I live in a GTA I live in a townhouse um, it's a three bedroom one den so technically a four bedroom townhouse so I have my bedroom I have my office space there two living rooms one on the first floor one on the second floor also and I have a year. So I share this space with my brother. I pay less because I don't stay in the master bedroom. I thought that one because I really wanted the master bedroom and he really wanted it too. So I was like, okay, if you're going to stay in the master bedroom, you're going to pay more money um, for rent because in the master bedroom, you actually have your separate bathroom and you're paying for the convenience. And master bedroom is bigger. It's way bigger than my bedroom. I can't fit a lot of things into my bedroom and I don't have that um, privacy. I literally have to come out of my room and walk out to go to my bathroom. So it's not really convenient. This rent includes parking spots. So we actually have two um, parking spots. So I'm going to be talking about utilities next. Um, everything isn't inclusive. So for my hydro, which is the electricity, my water bill and my gas bill, I pay about $150 maximum. For my gas and hydro, I pay about $20 each month for both of them, like gas and hydro. Then for my, sorry, my gas and water, I pay about $20 a month. Then for my hydro, maximum I pay is $100 that is my own half that's like 140 dollars for utilities i have to consider that we're living in a big space so obviously when you compare that to someone living in an apartment it would be higher than someone that is living in an apartment our bills are high because we use all our appliances i told you i came from somewhere that it was all inclusive and i like living the baby girl lifestyle i don't like stressing myself we use a lot of things and i started using my dishwasher like i really do not have time to just wash dishes every time before i was like oh my goodness this dishwasher will not wash well blah 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 now whether it washes well actually just it washes well not that whether it washes well it doesn't wash well <laughs> but i put everything inside dishwasher i'm not carrying that mentality that oh if you don't wash it yourself you're not washing it well things like that i put it inside my dishwasher and it washes it for me and it saves me time for our washing machine there are two options i can't remember but the other one was like a struggle option not in a bad way i know a lot of people prefer to use that option not as it's a struggle option but i would have to like be hustling and be like oh my goodness i can only wash this time to this time i can only wash from 7 pm to 7 am if i don't wash that time i'll have to wait till night time see I don't like things like that. <laughs> like, if I want to wake up and wash by 2 p.m., I want to wash by 2 p.m. So I told my brother that let's just use the other tier, like we'll pay for it and whatever. So that's what we use. So I wash my clothes whenever I want to. I just don't like stress, honestly. I'm that type of person that will pay for convenience. Like, I just don't like stress. So don't like. It's not stress. It might not be stress for people. It's like okay, saving money. I like saving money, but I'll save money in other ways. But when it comes to like me inconveniencing myself. I don't like things like that so that's why i do this obviously for those type of pills we can actually reduce it a lot but right now it's okay if it goes really really high then obviously we'll have to think about things change things and just try and reduce it but yeah for now i feel like it is okay for next thing i'm going to be talking about is internet bill so internet bill i pay about 56 dollars so my internet is unlimited 500 mbps um up and down fiber optic um it comes with 
TV plan so it was a promo I think the promo ends after a year or so we moved February I think the promo ends after a year when it ends I'll figure things out and go like I'll just figure things out but I actually shopped around for this and most times it actually depends on the person you talk to because there's some people that actually go the extra mile to find promos for you some people just like oh there's nothing they can do some people actually give you okay ten dollar discount every month I can't remember but I know I spoke like four different people and I finally got the option that I liked and I just went with that one but yeah I always shop around for internet I also called other internet providers just shop around for things like that and my phone bill i pay 92 dollars a month but yeah i use freedom mobile this is not my phone i don't own the phone in the beginning when i first came i was like oh i can't finance a phone i just it's like oh my goodness i'd rather buy a phone i'd rather buy a phone but there was a time where i just needed to buy a phone like my phone was 16 gig it wasn't helping me it wasn't doing anything and i was like oh i actually looked into it and i for my financed phone i'm not paying interest so that was actually good and also it is 10 gig so i do not care about internet i don't have to think about turning my data off or on that's that for phone is a two-year payment plan that um i have and that's the only thing i finance basically so it's not a big deal like i don't have debt i don't have other things you get what i mean so to me it's just not a big deal it's just that i like iphone but i just won't pay two thousand dollars at once for it or like two thousand five hundred dollars at once i don't know i don't know how much it is normally but i just won't pay that much at once it will shake me for iphone i can spend it for something else but it will just shake me too much but yeah and for my bills i have epidemic sound um which is what i use for my youtube channel i have my icloud and apple music yeah three of them and three of them earns more than forty dollars my epidemic sound is like i budget 25 dollars is less most times because they take it out in usd so it depends on exchange rates but i budget 25 dollars for that my apple music and icloud altogether is like 11 dollars or so so i don't spend my more than 40 dollars and the next thing is my variable expenses so things that can change things that are not fixed things that are not bills so things like groceries miscellaneous so for me i have different categories so i'm going to talk about my groceries first for my groceries i actually spend 200 dollars every month like i know i spend nothing like more than 200 dollars every month i don't know how i do it but i do it i spend nothing more than 200 dollars every month for groceries i do my groceries weekly but i find that because i'm doing it weekly i know what i'm making and i'm only buying that and i know that that is lasting for a week and that is it so typically i'll spend like 50 dollars every week most times i don't even spend the full 200 dollars and i eat nigerian food a lot good meat <laughs> when i'm eating good meat you see the amount of packing the next thing is gas so I don't have a car i use my brother's car because there's no point of me getting a car right now because we're working from home and i'm financially savvy like i know it's nice to have a car and all of that but what am i having a car for what am i buying the car for to just sit down in the garage and i'm looking at it and what's what's the good guy i'm supposed to have a car or what nope i'll use my brother's car till i have to go to work five days a week but yeah so i don't pay insurance car insurance that would have been a hefty bill car insurance is not cheap i give my brother 50 dollars a month for gas i don't really use the car like that next thing for my variable is um household so i have 50 dollars every month that i budget for household so this can be things for the kitchen maybe dishwashing liquid that's separated for my groceries so maybe that's why my grocery seems like it's 200 dollars but grocery is just actual food then household is um all the other things for the house basically then i have other categories like miscellaneous fun beauty and what's the last one personal yeah so fun money is eating out if i want to go for an adventure literally fun the things i do for fun so eating out and all of that it depends summertime i had 100 dollars as my budget i went over my budget a lot of times but lately i've been staying within my budget my budget has been 80 dollars for my fun money then my personal money is about 80 dollars also like now for this month um for my personal spending i bought a planner there's this planner i like so that was so just for an example that's kind of what i use for my personal spending then basic category is like waxing my brows which i haven't done the last like two months but it's like meant for waxing my brows it's happening for nails and all of that but honestly it doesn't like align with my goals with what i want for myself right now so 
I don't do my nails. I can save that money for something else, basically. Then I have my miscellaneous envelope. This is for anything that comes up. So mini emergency funds, basically. I put hundred dollars in it every month. So any random thing that comes up, like anything that comes up. So everything together, I spent about twenty two hundred dollars. So that's two thousand two hundred Canadian dollars a month. It can be less. It can be more also, but yeah, that is for expenses like the real expenses, not the other type of expenses. You go and the real ones, the bills, the variable expenses that I can't live without. The obvious things that I can't live without. Then, apart from that, I have other things like tithes, um, which I pay every month. I have my company's retirement plan, which I contribute to. I have my personal retirement account, I have my regular investment account. I have um, different savings accounts for my different goals. I also have sinking funds for like for birthdays, my girls' mission, when I send them school fees, and all of that, and other random things like car maintenance. I know I don't have a car yet, but I've started saving for it because having a car is expensive. So I don't want to be shaking when oh, I need to pay $600 for my tire or something like that. All those type of random bills. So I've been saving for my car maintenance already, even if I don't have a car yet. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to smash the like button for me hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this video and leave comments below let me know how much you spend a month on groceries in general if you're in nigeria wherever you are let me know how much you spend on groceries in a month in the comment section and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye